Considerations before conducting a GBV assessment. Gender-based violence or GBV assessments can provide us with information to improve the quality of our GBV programs. Let's look at some considerations before conducting a GBV assessment. In all situations, GBV response services must be in place before any GBV data collection can ethically begin. In coordination with other actors, we must clarify the purpose of our GBV assessment. Do we need to know how persons of concern are at risk of GBV? Are there any factors that may increase the risks of GBV in a particular setting? Do some groups face more or different protection risks because of their sex, age, ethnic background, nationality, sexual orientation, disability, or status? Which specific profiles are more at risk? What are the community's views on GBV? Do we need to assess the strengths and weaknesses of existing interventions? What about the quality of response services? Is information about the availability of services accessible to all? How do we identify resources in the community and among humanitarian actors to address GBV? How are we making sure that measures to reduce the risk of GBV are integrated into other sectors, including education, shelter, health, and others? We also need to consider the safety and ethical considerations. Collecting data on GBV must be undertaken with care. Always weigh potential risks that respondents and data collectors may experience against potential benefits to the affected community and the wider humanitarian community. It is critical that the benefits outweigh the risks. Data collection activities must be safe, survivor-centered, methodologically sound, and not time-intensive. All members must be selected carefully and assessed for supportive attitudes and values. All members of the assessment team must be well-trained, including on safe and ethical GBV referrals. They must be well-versed with the GBV referral pathway. GBV data is highly sensitive and potentially life-threatening. The principles of confidentiality, safety, and do no harm must be upheld at all times. Identify the best methods for reaching women, girls, boys, and men in separate groups, and make specific efforts to reach marginalized groups. Remember, GBV survivors should not be sought out or targeted as a specific group during assessments. Before collecting data, informed consent must be sought. Participants need to be informed of the purpose of the exercise, potential risks, and benefits they may receive due to their participation. Additional safeguards must be established if children under 18 years of age participate in information gathering. Collecting information that will not be used is unethical and wasteful. Remember, in order to improve the quality of our programs, GBV assessments are crucial. Let's make sure that we conduct GBV assessments ethically and safely.